quick tutorial on how to save LT Spice schematics and plots and specifically to put those into reports uh, for others to read uh, even though uh, you might see that LT Spice is a little uh, tricky to do this. First off, quality and clarity of your results are not very good with the LT Spice uh, default settings. I recommend that you change them. Please go to LT Wiki and look up LT Spice hotkeys. Okay. LT Wiki is a great website uh, for all sorts of interesting uh, side channel information, so to speak, about LT Spice. All right, the one I'm showing you today, or uh, am using, is a variation of that. Uh, second page of this document, which is already up and loading. All right, so it's uh, this. You've had this as a uh, color handout. The second page, or the back side, uh, tells about how to do this procedure. Please read the procedure, please do the procedure, otherwise your results won't be like mine. Uh, at the moment, at least when I'm recording the video for the semester, is uh, I have all of those files located at this URL, agnd.net slash valpo slash 429 slash homework or hw slash docs, ltspicehotkeys.pdf and ltspicexvii.ini. Those are the files that you want. All right, so if we're going to use uh, Google Docs for the, uh, to do this, let's uh, set run your simulations and set up your plots in LT Spice. Here's a quick example from 429. Here's a flip-flop, deflip-flop simulation. I hit F4 to run the simulation. Now we're looking at LT Spice. Uh, this is uh, highlighted all of the nodes uh, that are available, and then highlighted in blue are the nodes that I want to save in my data which then I'm able to plot later. It came up with this dialog box. I'm going to say OK here. Okay, and then it's going to run the simulation. It did that first. I'm going to scroll down into my net list that was exported. The line of it destiny that made that box come up was dot save. Dot save and then here's voltages, here's voltages, here's a voltage inside a subcell. Okay, that's the node X inside the latch node. Here's a out bar, which is an internal thing of the flip-flop uh, in between the two latches. And then finally, this argument at the end, dialog box. That's what made the dialog box come up. All right, so let's plot some waveforms. This is a D flip-flop, so we're going to clock, uh, plot clock, Q, and D. These are the inputs as applied directly to it. If you notice, we had some buffers in here. This simulation is defined setup time uh, for our circuit, but I'm going to zoom in. So, first step of our uh, saving. Okay, saving. Uh, uh, where are we at? Here it is. Saving uh, simulations is to set up your plots in LT Spice and make that window look exactly. When I say resize the plot window, you'll see what I mean. Resize the plot window. I'm going to zoom in, keep zooming in uh, here to here. Um, what if I want this to be a hundred? Okay, so here's our x-axis, here's our y-axis. Uh, if I right-click, I can change my vertical axis, I can change my ticks, I can change uh, all sorts of plot settings. Right-click on the uh, horizontal axis, I get the same thing. Logarithmic makes no sense in this because we're in the time domain. Okay, and uh, we're we're in here. We're looking at uh, really what what this delay is in the center. Perhaps this is what I want to show. This is how you do it. You say right click, and you say view, and you say copy bitmap to clipboard. A quick side note is write image to EMF file. That writes it as a uh, uh, well obviously an EMF file, which is a form of vector graphics where it describes the shapes and not the pixels. Well, uh, Google Docs doesn't deal with uh, EMF files. It's a little cumbersome to deal with that. I have some scripts, but they're uh, in Linux, and you're welcome to ask me uh, for how that works. All right, but right now, copy bitmap to clipboard, and then we're done. We're going to go back to a Google Doc that I have set up. Okay, and then I can paste, paste this image in here. Paste, please. Oops. Of course, I can't do this. Draw, view, copy.
copy image to like uh, here, paste. Okay, the reason this isn't working is I made a video uh, using Windows. Right now I'm using Linux, and this is LT Spice that thinks it's running in Windows, but it's not. What I'm going to do uh, is literally the same thing is what happens when you say right click in Windows. This is what you want. You want to right click in Windows and then uh, say view copy bitmap to clipboard. I'm just going to take a, a screenshot. Okay, so I'm going to take a new screenshot. Wait for a second because this is how it's set up. And then uh, take a screenshot just like this. All right, it's janky, but uh, it's what we got. Copy that to the clipboard and I can now drop that into my document. If you look at this, this is like, I don't know, if I want to make it smaller, it's okay, but do you see how it just doesn't look good? Okay, if you want somebody to read this, uh, it needs to be, like, you know, look good. Alright, so what I'm going to do is we're going to go back to LT Spice. I really just wanted to zoom in and show this time right there. What we can do is you can take these windows and LT Spice. There's windows inside of windows. Windows all the way down. Okay. And then make your window to look exactly like you want. And when I say exactly like you want, I mean even the size of it. Okay. This is clear. Uh, maybe I want these ticks to be at uh, 0.5 volts instead. And I want to go from minus 1 to uh, 6 volts. Okay, do you see how it changed my left axis here? We can do this sort of stuff. We can also turn on uh, cursors. You see I'm turning on a, a cursor on number 1. What you can do is you can use the arrow keys. I'm using the arrow keys to step by a simulation point. And these are the, the simulation points that are actually exist in my uh, simulation, right? Right click on here, put the uh, second cursor on my queue. Now I'm making basically a clock to queue delay. Uh, display. And I can see that showing up here. It says uh, 398.4 picoseconds. If I take a screenshot, I can't do this in, uh, in Linux right here to say copy bitmap to clipboard. This is what you should do. I can instead take a screenshot, wait my two seconds, and take a screenshot, hit enter, control C, alt tab to get back to my uh, document, paste this in. Do you notice how much better this looks? Okay, so you have to set up, the moral of this whole story is set up your simulation, your plots to look exactly like you want. I'm going to open up one more uh, simulation here. Okay, this is a, simu or a simulation from uh, another assignment. All right, I'm going to control B to make the simulation. I have B, which is an RC RC uh, circuit. I'm really measuring rise time. If you look at my pulse, it has a one femtosecond rise time that starts immediately, and one femtosecond is much smaller than my uh, time interval here. So we'll call this effectively zero. Now from zero to 2.5 volts on VB, that would be my uh, propagation delay. I can also plot node C, which is, if you notice, uh, the time constant that you get from Elmore delay, which is 5K times 4 femto and then 5 plus 5k times 4 femto, 5 plus 5 plus 5 times 4 femto. Add those all up. That is the L more delay. You end up with 120 uh, picoseconds of, of time constant. Here's my 120 picoseconds of time constant. doesn't really matter the R and the C. I just kept these uh, so I could do 120 pico and do the math in my head. If I plot this, you'll see that C is just a little early. It underestimates that delay just a little bit as a single time constant. This is a single RC. All right, enough of that, but I want to plot this. This looks really great. I can see it on my screen, but this does not make a good plot to put into a report. 
what we need to do is <clears throat> make this uh, look nice. So make small, nice. Perhaps you want to, um, let's see, I'm going to put a tick at 2.5, 0 to 5, 2.5, and now it's really easy to see what my delay time is. Okay? You would right click, say view, and then copy bitmap uh, to clipboard. I can't do that here on Linux, so I'm just going to take a straight up screenshot. Wait my two seconds, according to my settings, and take a screenshot. Make sure I'm not cutting off uh, anything of importance. Now I can drop this into my Google Doc. See how it's big? Since it's big and clear, I can shrink it down and it's still uh, clear with nice resolution. If I want my my schematic, I can zoom zoom in and simulate here, or I'll show this, the grid that's turned on that will show up in my screenshot. I can turn that off by Control G, or I can also uh, do that under uh, the View menu, which is Show Grid or not Show uh, Show Grid. All right, so oops, space bar. Now this one is okay. If I zoom in, zoom out. You notice that th that really the only way to get uh, good pixels here on my text is not to make the schematic oops uh, the schematic <laughs> smaller. That's anti uh, anti helpful. It is to maximize this window, make it as big as you can, and then take your screenshot. Remember uh, the screenshot for you is view copy bitmap to clipboard. For me, it is uh, take a new screenshot wait and then uh, draw a box around what I want no borders if you can okay I hit enter copy that to my uh, I keep grabbing that all right so here and here it is it's nice and large easy to read it's not pixelated okay so I can look at that and uh, here we go that is how to save LT spice schematics and plots uh, as we go Okay. Also, if you want to save the plot settings, guess what? There's a menu item that's called Save Plot Settings. Thanks for watching.